Um, so, yeah. Anyways, on to Nate's 2018 predictions. Which, the first one, we'll continue this topic. Topic three. three. Because... Yes, topic three. Oh, yeah, topic three. So, continuing the talk we literally just had that was in the last topic. Uh, SM Girl Group will get at least pre-debut content. If not, they'll debut. Because, like Jacob said, and I I talked about this uh, last month. Like, we talked about it on one of the episodes. But, yeah, it just 100% makes sense. SM follows a very strict schedule where Super Junior into SNSD into Shiny into FX into XO, XO into Red Velvet into NCT. It's girl group time. It's been two yep. years since NCT debuted. So girl group been- is imminent. Please don't be NCT girls. I just want a real girl group. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it will be. Because be. NCT isn't doing as big as they'd hoped. So yeah. I think it'll be more standard girl group. But and I think it'll be more on the cutesy side. Yeah, well, I think it's definitely going to be an SNSD successor. Yeah, like, like, yeah, sure. like, like into like the new world start SNSD, NCT QC, is more innocent of the, stuff. More of, MCT is definitely more of the experimental as opposed to like an actual yeah. big style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But have any? Have there been any like trainee like leaks or like image like people like? There, we got the ones they, we got couple. the ones they showed years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have the little girls they showed years, years ago. ago yeah, who yeah. are not little girls anymore. Yeah, they're, they're probably like yeah. about the age. Well, that and that, that's, that's that's the why. other thing is like we we talk about this schedule going back and forth. The last girl group they put out was 2014 with Red Velvet. They've had yep. girls training for four years. Like, there's mm-hmm. definitely yep. a group of them that are ready to debut. Yeah, like that are waiting. There's not. It's not like they are. They need to train more. I don't think the SM's training is good enough. Unless they had a really large turnover rate with female trainees. Like they not have that some know, that are least. ready. But no, I mean we would never know that because that would be all internal. But you got to yeah. believe there are some girls that can figure this out and would stay there knowing yeah. like they're about to debut. Yeah. Yeah. The- well, yeah, because SM SM attracts all the best talent. That's why yeah, they have exactly. all the best I mean, they, have, they, they have global auditions for a reason because they yeah. know that they can attract talent from everywhere. But I guess my question yep. would be: Is that do you really th- do you think it'll be in the style of SNSD, or do you think it could be something I, not necessarily copying NCT, but do you think it could be like a straight up like do you think we, we could get like, like a, XG girl group? You do you think we could get a YG girl group? Hundred percent, no, no. That'd be I don't crazy. think I don't think it's SM's flavor. No, it's not. That'd be insane. Not. Like, I, like what, SM does a YG girl group. YG does an SM girl group. <laughs> like, well, I like, think well, in terms of see, style. Because the, the analogy I like to put it is that SM is very Nintendo when it comes to yeah. K-pop. Is that they know what they're they, good at they and know they what, stick to and it. They just stick to it, yeah. They don't they don't yeah. follow trends. They're just like, like Do their we're own doing things. this. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, this will be this will be a group in the vein of like G Friend and Lovely's like innocent. That's so like, weird coming from Poppy SM. Girl Group. It's been so long since SM. Well, that's what, yeah, they yeah. haven't done it in a while, but I think it's popular. Yeah, they haven't right done now. it since SNSD because the, the, the they don't have that anymore. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's popular right now, and they know that they don't and have they a group do like it. that. They don't have yeah. a group like that anymore. They just lost it basically because SNSD yeah, is five so. members, and the members don't want to do that stuff anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, exactly. You know, they they have SNSD a spot to fill. Into, I think like, it's definitely what it is. Well, that's I mean, why I got a boy was supposed think. to be. Yeah, yeah I got a boy. Think. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah, like that yeah, type it of was stuff. kind of. It was Mr. like a Mr. <laughs> God, I love the MV for you. Think it's so over the top. Yeah. <laughs> okay, moving on. Number two, Stray Kids will become the third biggest guy group after EXO and yeah. BTS in got their that first new year. Found, got that newfound. This is IP twice, part. twice guy, like twice his little brother group. That, yeah, and JYP. JYP knows what he's doing. No, Does and, he have four members? And, this is Kids? partially based on Cooper's hype from watching Stray Kids and how good, like, how much he's hyped for them. I mean, it was a good song, so. Yeah, like, it was a really yeah. good song, and they have really and good rappers, out a, too. they're putting out a mixtape, like, in a few days. Like. The only thing is, though, the only thing is, though, because for them to become the third most popular, they gotta, they gotta surpass, like, Got 17, seven. Got 7, Monster X, like, all these groups that have been I, around for, a while, like, a, a while already. Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm thinking... Got 7's like, their biggest competition. Got 7's yeah. their biggest competition. They're definitely number 3. Um, like, NCT isn't as popular as you'd think. Nah. Neither is Monsta X. Like, they just got their first win. They're big. They're they're rising, too. But they're I think this K-pop group... Fans, not the public. Yeah. Yeah. I think this can be, like... Like, I don't think... I don't think Stray Kids was as popular as 16, 
But I think JYP knows what he's doing in terms of managing groups. The music. And, and he, I mean, he how can, many people, and the music. How many people actually watched 16 and then, like, everyone just started, like, listening to Twice oh. anyway? So it's, like, like yeah. it feels like the... Well, here's the thing. The MV for, like, Ooh Ah blew up after Cheer Up came out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Like, they yeah. blew up simultaneously, basically. Yeah, yeah, because Cheer Up was... But I think... I don't know. I just... It's just a feeling I have. Just the way... The rise that JYP has had with Twice. Like, managing yeah. Twice. I think they can use that popularity. He knows what popularity. he's doing. Like, he found what worked. Plus, like, they're literally just gonna get big because they will be compared to Twice. They're like, this is Twice's guy group. Mm-hmm. And guy groups are huge. And Twice is huge. Like, yep. Poor that God alone seven, though, will damn. help them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, God 7 has seven has been around for a while. They came out in 20... 20- 13, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's been so something like, like that. You know, I, just hope, they don't, for, I just hope they don't get new ested, basically. That's no, they, they will. I don't think they they're, they're, really they're popular. Group. Like, and I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying they're going to become like... I think it'll be a shiny arena super junior selling, type probably. thing. Probably. Yeah, 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 exactly. I don't think they're going to be... Like, I'm not saying Stray Kids are going to be arena selling like XO and BTS. I just think they will a surpass pretty three. much every... Because... If you think about it, God Seven's like a very far, like below EXO and yeah. BTS, mm-hmm. and I yeah. think they'll. I think they're gonna be like just over God Seven, but within one year of debut, which would be crazy. And if if that happens, yeah. like I'm not saying they're gonna become BTS yeah. and EXO no, but <laughs> level like, of popularity. If, if they do, I think like that. It's just they will like, eventually become that if that yeah, happens. Like, yeah, but it sort of cements JYP as just like the like the top like. The top, yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah if Stray Kids blows right up, now. like I think yeah. it will, JYP will be on top. Oh, JYP is number uh, Also, I think if once we get uh, 2017's like year end uh, like sales Unless, and stuff, I think yeah. JYP is going to oh. surpass YG. Oh, 100%. Twice, like. You have to release yeah. music to make up. money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, exactly. The only, the only way that JYP doesn't. If Stray Kids blows up, JYP doesn't top SM. Is if SM's new girl group blows up even more? That might happen. That well, might like happen, seriously, all YG honest. had, yeah. all YG had was, I mean, they have their subs- his subsidiaries too. Yeah, but like, they have Black Label. All they did was I Black Pink, on one song, and then G Dragon's album and Taehyung's album. That's, yeah. that's pretty much it. But and I mean, Japanese Psy, releases. But I mean, Psy's they all, doing oh, his own Psy shit. too. But he, yeah, but yeah, Psy's he, making he wants his to own. Leave if anything, Psy G. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I. Simon's going to make his own label. He doesn't like, need YG at this point anymore. No, he. Yeah, he never no, needed he YG doesn't. to be completely honest. No, he never well, did. I don't. He I was blew up after he joined YG. Is the thing. Was Gangnam, Gangnam Style, Style under was, YG? Re- was released under YG? Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, it was his first thing under YG, and then he blew up. <laughs> yeah, and then he's like, need, "Shit, he I shouldn't have joined. Like, I, I should have like, figured because he, well, because he produces all of his own music, so like yeah. well, he could have put that out under his own label." Here's what happened under, with YG, and like, but he probably didn't have much money. In 2011, YG is like, "Okay, we want to bring in outside artists," so yeah, they yeah. got Epic, the, they got Tablo, Epic and then Epic High joined, and then Psy, and then also Genu Shan, and they had those. Yeah. So yeah, that's they got sex happened, keys basically. now too. What? <laughs> sex keys? Oh yeah, they have sex that keys. too. <laughs> okay, we'll move on. Um, number three is a pretty safe one. Uh, Dreamcatcher US tour. Uh, they've really done Europe. So. They've done South America. I will be shocked they've done Asia. if this doesn't happen. Like absolutely. So if they do shocked. not come to the US at all, it, yeah, I'm flying it, it, I'm it doesn't make Thailand any sense. Or something if they don't go there. <laughs> I'll um, dress up as the I'll dress up as like the queen or the princess or something. <laughs> So yeah, this, of sword. <laughs> we don't need we don't need too much more deliberation on that one. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. Uh, number four is a little vague, just because it's kind of subjective. But I just think Super Junior will continue building their popularity with their variety show that they're starting, and then new music. Um, mm-hmm. I think coming play was a good comeback. Like Black mm-hmm. Suit was a yeah. good way to come back f- yeah. with them all coming back from the the army. Um, and I think it helped real like teach a lot of the new fans that like this legendary boy group is still good. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he chose just killing it on knowing bros. They all went on a bunch of different variety shows and did really well. Like weekly mm-hmm. idol was really good. They all yep. went on knowing bros as a group like, and now they're, they announced that this year they're, uh, what, what is the label? SJ, label SJ. Label SJ. Yeah, like yeah, it's, it's they're, uh, they're headed by Isuman. So yeah, Isuman yeah. is running that label. Yeah, since he's not running SM anymore. 
Um, but yeah, they announced that like they're gonna do their own variety show, um, and I think that'll that'll do really well. Like just so, all they have yeah. to do to be popular is just don't get arrested. Don't. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. half of the don't I think drunk and drive. That, that's like part of it. I think like. <laughs> What Don't Super Junior is people. right? Yeah, <laughs> that's that so sucks because up. that was like that's not really his fault. Like yeah, it was yeah, his I parents' know. dog yeah, was, too. Was like accident, he basically. wasn't. Yeah. It was an accident. It was his parents' dog. It wasn't even his like personal yeah. dog. Like it was his family's <laughs> dog, and they had just come back because like, he right now Super Junior like Black Suit was filmed with seven members, but if you notice, there are six everywhere because yeah. uh, is she won. Is it? Is it she won. Yeah, I was gonna say it's one of like the most popular members too. Uh, she wants dog, family dog, bit a neighbor, and that neighbor died, which is very, very unfortunate. Wait, he died? I didn't even know no, that. The, I was joking. Yeah, no, the like, neighbor actually oh passed away. God. Yeah, because they were like, like it was from infected. complications. Yeah. It was infected, and they got sepsis, and then that is they passed yeah, away. Dude. Yeah, yeah so like that's why. Yeah. yeah. So um, but yeah, I and I honestly was think I think person? they'll cut must off have been an old person. I think she was in, like, 60s or something. Like, I don't yeah. think she was super old, but she wasn't young. Mm. Um, and I think they'll cut the fat with, like, the members that are doing oh, the shit. shit. Like, drink. Like the one dude yeah. who's... I definitely think they're going to get rid of him Isn't as soon Kongan? as they can. I think it is Kongan, yeah. Why don't they add Henry um, again? He's, he's, he's okay. Henry... Oh, because last time they tried to Henry add Henry, was never, people started freaking yeah. bitching about it. Well, he it was and, never actually part of... Super Junior. He was, he was only going part to of be. Super Junior. He was going M. to he was be. Going just, added, were gonna be just, added. Just, just, just yeah. like consolidate it, like they did with EXO, or basically it's just one group or whatever. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Well, I think they will. Um, and then Ryuwook and Kyun are in the army, army still, army, but so. I, yeah, they're the, they they're be the youngest back members. Soon. They're the last ones. They've got to be come back soon. So yeah. Um. Let's see. Oh. Uh. Actually, no. Kyun yeah, just, just released stuff like, yeah. last year, so he's, he's well, going to he, be until he, like, the end of this year. He went, no, yeah, he went in May 2017, so he's going to be until 2019. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, um, it doesn't actually say. Hey, there's a section titled Solo Debut and Military Service, but it only talks about his solo debut. Oh, <laughs> there's literally no info about his military service. But his solo debut is in 2016, so yeah. Um, he's probably in there now, so. Yeah, he's, well, he, oh, he enlisted uh, October 11th, 2016. So he'll be getting out the end of this year. Okay. Right, so cool. yeah, I, th- I think Super, Super Junior right now with the seven of them is like a good, Number. good group. And I think they'll do well. Yeah, if she, even if Shiwan doesn't come back, like the six of them, that's like the highlight. Like, to be honest, like that is the highlight. Plus, Kyuhyun, mm-hmm. I feel yeah. like is super junior. Well, Kyuhyun is their best vocalist, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I exactly. like him the best. Yep. Him, Ye Song, and Real Work are are cry or whatever. Super junior cry. Yeah, so yeah, they're, cry. Yep. They're three best vocalists. They definitely need back because all they have we is Ye Song right now. We just, we need Super Junior happy to come back. Oh my cooking, god! Cooking, cooking is amazing. <laughs> or how about Super Junior Pajama tea? Party? Super Junior Super Tea, Junior where they make trot music. Yeah, that was the only one he trolled as part of. <laughs> oh I don't know how was he troll not in Super Junior Happy. Like that blows my mind. He's I think it was trolling. when he was. It, he must have been in the army when they did it. Because I can't imagine he troll in the army. Like, how could you? <laughs> you can't have females in the army. <laughs> I know, it's not just that. Like, how could he? How could somebody that's literally like can't stop cracking jokes, like a, like a fifteen year old, oh, no, yeah. operating like, <laughs> the most serious environment? He was. Oh no, actually, they. I remember they made a joke about that and. Uh, Knowing bros. Uh, knowing bros, because he said he was part of just like one of the public works, <laughs> public works offices or something. Like he was, he wasn't actually an army person. Yeah, like, yeah. He just did public service because they they have the option to do like mm. police work because that's what Top was gonna yeah, do. Was, he was, was like Top a policeman or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And like he, yeah, he was just some like public servant part of the as his option. Um, but yeah, I think that they'll do well. Uh, and at number five. Uh, Produce 48 will be th- do better than the unit in Mix 9, and I'm not saying just ratings, because I think obviously it'll do better, because those are both on cable channels. Mm-hmm. The, um, groups will, the group will produce the will gr- be more popular. Like, I think, and just like, in general, in terms of, like, 
public awareness and popularity. Um, and then uh, it'll do better than Mix 9 in the unit, but not as good as Produce 101 or Produce 101. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm still interested in it, though. No, yeah, I'm definitely going to watch it. It's a, this one's I mean, a boy back group? Back to girl groups. No, it's girl, a girl group. Girl group. Oh, it's a girl group? And it's, yeah. it's, it's AKB48. Well, I know, but I thought, Style, I thought girl somebody group. said oh, no, earlier it's, that they were going to do a, another boy group or something. AKB48 is straight No, I was, group, so. I was saying I wouldn't have been surprised if, like, Brodus 101 was huge if they did another boy group. No, oh, they'd, they'd be overshadowed. They, they're they'd doing be overshadowed another girl by 101. Group. I think it would, it's a good idea to go back to a girl group because there's no more there's no more IOI. So yeah, all the IOI think, fans you think can, they'll get, uh, can migrate. You think they'll get um, people who are on Brodus 101? I wouldn't be surprised if they. I don't know if they if they let him. I wouldn't I th- be surprised. I mean, like, there's a bunch of them on the unit mix line right yeah. now. And hey, they were on like idol school and stuff. Like in idol school, yeah. yeah like, like, how, like five bucks, people. People five have bucks just been Natty's jumping. Like, how much jump- you want to bet Natty is on this show? Uh, if she stays in the industry, maybe. Yeah, that's true. That's oh, I feel bad. like why isn't she being what if, accepted? For now, anything? God damn it, the Natty's real doing. blow me away moment is if Somi is on this show. Yo, <laughs> if they put oh. Somi on Yo, Produce Forty Eight, she would murder it. She's gonna exactly. be the main vocalist of a forty-eight member group. That'd be insane. <laughs> so. So me doing heavy hilarious. rotation, they, I would, I would if die. If they announce, I if they announce so me, that you know would be they're hilarious. doing, you know they're doing heavy, the Korean version of heavy rotation for AKB uh, or for uh, well, Forty Eight. You know it. Well, I don't know if it's actually like they're partnering with. Is it? Are they partnering? Yeah, it's okay. a it's a partnership between the two companies. So well, it'll definitely be part of the. So you, like, th- th- there'll be some. I don't. There'll be a fair amount of Japanese trainees too. So yeah, well, yeah, yeah. They said it was going to be more global based. So. Oh, cool. More uh, foreign trainees. Okay, we can move on to Andrews. All right, number one for me. BTS will release an English album or an American album, all in English, and it'll be promoted in the U.S. I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer, yeah. but I mean, I feel yeah, it's it's definitely something I can see them doing. Like, it's the next logical step after being on all these talk shows and like all uh, like all these music awards. It feels like yeah. They, I feel like that that should be their focus. To be completely honest, like even I more think, than the Korean album, yeah. they they definitely need to. And I think it's definitely going to be one of their best selling albums. I, in my opinion, because, I really think it will be because like, like yeah, like right now is good. But remember, like SNSD was on a bunch of like American like shows and like they were on Letterman, they were on like the YouTube whatever awards and like that sort yeah. of thing. And then after that, they stopped showing up. Like for BTS right now, it's now yeah. or never. Like if, if they don't take yeah, advantage they, you of have this, to it's not going to come back. Yeah. yeah, you have to commit. And the thing is, people are scared to because of what happened with Wonder Girls, but I think Wonder Girls was just at the wrong time. I know, the, the, the song was trash. So. <laughs> well, Like Money wasn't wasn't their first thing in the U.S. Oh, it was uh, Nobody, yeah. Nobody, which nobody. was on the top 100. Which is, oh, yeah, yeah. And which is like, like, very good song. Everyone, like, people that don't know K-pop know Nobody, but I mean, it's just like, yeah. I guess, yeah, it's just kind of weird where like, well, you know how K-pop music is kind of like three years behind American music in a way. Like it just felt like it, mm. it didn't fit in the, the the landscape. And I mean, yeah, yeah. Wonder Girls had that. Then they had like the the Wonder Girls special on Nickelodeon. And then oh my god, I wa- I saw that on TV when I first got in the K-pop. I was we need like, to what we is need to do this? like a we need to do like a live show. Like, we need to do like a watch along of that one day or something. Like JYP that. is in that. <laughs> oh, it's the so random. It. Of all the K-pop <laughs> groups that you think well, would get a- would get like a, a Nickelodeon. Special he's their Wonder manager Girl. or something in the movie. But like in real well, life, in, it makes sense because yeah, in real life he's the yeah. producer. I mean, he's not their manager. Okay, but. then maybe that should have been my prediction. BTS will get a Nickelodeon special featuring. Oh the no, my god, yes, That's, that'd be <laughs> such Do a it. wrong move. I, I want to see BTS get slimed. And then no, they're just it's just like they're like everyone's just like speaking English, even though like I know they're they're not. <laughs> It's like they're yeah, just forcing, like they're forcing themselves to speak English, which I think they have to do because they have to, they well, have to be able to give interviews in English, like because that's I feel like that's yeah. important. It can't just be, it can't just be Art Rat, Ratman just doing everything. They have to all like, fo- like, be like focused on that. Yeah, well, the thing is, Wonder Girls actually did speak English already. Yeah, for the most part, except most for yeah. except for Sunmi. Yeah, yeah. But yeah they I think had, they had, I think Hidden um, was in the in oh, yeah. the Nickelodeon she movie, mm-hmm. and she's fluent. She, yep, she like studied, like. Translation or whatever in college or I don't so. think Sunny yeah. was, Sunny was gone by the time the the movie came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she was. Yeah, Sunny, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Shaden so was in the. Yeah. It, it was it was the five. Yeah, it was like, the five. Yeah, yeah it was Hayden. like around like this. So yeah. no, yeah. Wait, hold on. 
I'm looking it up. Continue on. All yeah, right. it was the five. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, right. that was four. I was forgetting. Hey, no, it, yeah, it's yeah. Oh, I went back. No, number two. Because oh. Sonye was still in the group. Yeah, Sonye was still. Yeah, in the group. Sonye, Sonye, Sonye Yeyin, Yubin, and Hayden. Yep. Yep. Okay, number two. Uh, kind of another kind of an obvious one, but I feel like Zhang Yin will get some type of uh, tribute at the Winter Olympic Games, which are we're about like a. It's in a couple of months, right? Yeah, it's just like a month and a half away right now. So I feel, I feel like again, Kim, yeah. I feel like K-pop is definitely going to be an important part of it, and I feel like with it being so recent, I feel like he deserves some type of tribute, especially since he, since he was probably yeah. going to be involved in the Olympics. Like that's one thing we we kind of didn't like go over. It's that I feel like. One sure. thing, Korea is dropping the ball if they don't cor- heavily incorporate K-pop, K-pop. into their Because that's what they're no- open- That's their main oh, export. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, not even yeah, joking. Yeah, that's exactly. their main export. It's not kimchi. It's it's K-pop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's mean cultural export. For yeah. the younger yeah. generations, 100%. Yeah, that's yeah. basically... If, you, if, if like, the, the whole and point... And you want the young... You want younger generations yeah, the, the to whole, watch the Olympics. Yeah, the whole point of the Olympics is not, like, with sport, but it's also culture. And if you want to expose, like, young people to, like, the, what Korea is all about, it's definitely... You gotta, you gotta incorporate K-pop. So yep, mm-hmm. it definitely feels like some type of tribute will will happen with Jong Yun. All right, number three, SM will debut a new girl group. I think they debut this year. So yeah, they're... yeah, I think yeah. so too. I, I, I mean, think, I, I think I, it'll be in the summer though. I, I had that in my summer prediction. or later. Yeah. You just didn't write it down. <laughs> yeah, but um, I said they pre debut yeah, or if, debut. If they don't, if they don't debut, it's like it's like either like shit or get off the par, like because they're literally. Yeah. It's it, it's a long time coming at this point, so like they they better. <laughs> yeah. Number four, mm. Luna will perform at KCON. The entire group. That's my KCON LA specifically. I know yeah, it, it's I kind of an that. outside shot, but I mean, I feel like Luna's much like Dreamcatcher or like that type of group to be like popular enough in America that it could warrant being at KCON, but not popular enough to have solo concerts. So I feel like KCON would yeah. be the perfect sort of thing. And I mean, like they, kind yeah. of, it feels like, um, I mean, um, Blackberry sort of like, I think they had like their like debuts on Mnet anyway or something like that. So they definitely have a relationship yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, it all comes down to when they actually debut. Yep. It, it has to be soon. It has if to they be don't the, debut, it's the first. It has to be within the first quarter of, of 2018 because there's only well, two members what, left. Yeah, but. Then they do. They could do subunit stuff. Oh yeah, there, there's gonna be subunits. So I mean, like by the, maybe the middle they, of the year. Yeah. Yeah, I but that's what I'm saying. Like, it might if they don't debut perfectly. till July, it, I don't know if they'd go right away. We'll see. Like, I don't know. It depends. We'll see. I think they they might but, pull a card to be completely honest when it comes to Luna because they're definitely more popular yeah. around, around like internationally yeah. when it comes to fans than as opposed. Yeah, to Yeah, I mean, yeah, card went so that, that's a good point. <laughs> and that was right after their debut. Mm-hmm. Number five, there will be a Korean adaptation of Love Live, which is probably my craziest prediction, but I feel like it's the strongest one. This is like 2018 will be the year of Nico Nico Ni. Like, mm-hmm. I know, like I know, like Real Ghost Girls Project slash Idol Master wasn't as popular, but I mean, Love Live is a phenomenon when it comes to like like <laughs> anime Nico, Nico, Nico. and like idol <laughs> sort of like virtual idol sort of things. Like Love Live is ridiculously popular. Like anyone. My, that's, yeah. <laughs> Anyone my friend from college who uh he's love life trash introduced yeah no literally <laughs> like i introduced him to k-pop and he like he saw the love live uh blu-ray for like 20 dollars so he bought it <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I still need to watch love live to be completely honest because I, I i only know like i've only seen clips of it but um yeah same. Like, like i i feel like love live is could do better in korea as well because the concept of love live is it, it's a school that where yeah. they make an idol group to prevent their school from shutting down, and I feel like that's sort of like yeah. it's a, it's sort of a better plot as opposed to just Idol Master, where it's like oh you're like the the main character is a manager, it's at like some idol company sort yeah. of thing. It's like Dream High, except <laughs> yeah, Dream High was yeah, amazing and yeah. it was really big. Yeah, so I yeah, love Dream High. Yeah, so there's there, there's there's reference. There, 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 that was like my first K drama. Yeah, no, yeah, like everyone talks about it because like what's what, the what, what, Weren't there so many like famous like Susie actual like? Oh yeah, Susie and IU. <laughs> yeah, IU was on Dream Woo High. Young, Su Hyun. and Taekyung. Kim Soo Hyun is huge too. Su- yeah, after like that. like all of them are insanely big. Like yeah, but it's yeah, Susie's the main character. So like, and then yeah. IU is one of IU and Woo Young from Two PM. IU like, IU is fat until the end. Yeah, She's IU wore a fat suit for most of the show. <laughs> oh, it was adorable. IU. I need to watch it. Yeah, but 
if we were, if I was to cast anyone, obviously Nico Yazawa has to be has to be Momo. Like he like the only person that that I don't know if would God, you like he so would he so <laughs> he, he, he so he'd, just he'd promote the crap out of it on <laughs> <Mario> Bros. <laughs> Ito would have to be in it too, just for the as the like, just like a cameo or he's something. He's a teacher. He's one of the teachers. He's the, teacher. Think. <laughs> <laughs> he's the teacher at the high school that's in love with Momo or like with Nico. Yes, uh, is the teacher in love with Nico? Yep. In love life? <laughs> is are there really? I don't, like, no, no, I don't know. I don't know. But oh, like, okay, okay. Like, but Nico's definitely because like then the, yes, Ito would have to play that character. <laughs> I know people are gonna fight. Or in the yeah. Comment. People are gonna find me in the comments, but like I know Nico's the most popular one, so I feel like yeah. She... Whoever has a crush, if there's any boy character, that should be played by Heechel. No, nah, if anything, I, I don't think there are any boy characters. I think they oh no, fall... it's a girl, all girls school. Isn't they, it? They, they, just, they just fall in love with each other. So <laughs> oh, oh, okay. It's that, it's that kind of anime. Kind of show. It's right. that kind of show. It's, why, why do you think it's popular? Like, anyway. That's my predictions. Jacob, yep. you're up. Okay, all right. Number one. Here, Jacob's the sky is blue prediction no. of 2018. <laughs> this is so obvious. <laughs> okay, number one. Sohyun is going to launch her music company, and she's going to have a comeback. She's really already said she's making her own company. <laughs> I know. And of course, know. she's going to have a comeback. This is, a layup. This is like she saying say Card when. will have a she comeback. Didn't say when. <laughs> She's not she gonna wait more when. than a year. Are you kidding me? What else is she gonna do? Oh no! Well, Model she does musicals act. and acting. She just won an acting award. Oh, that's yeah, like she literally actress. just won. But no, she's best probably gonna work on actress. music. Come on, it's award. been a, it's been a year since like Don't Say No, so she probably has some. I think she, no, yeah, she's she definitely, definitely has doing music, music in the in, in but like the. But it's not gonna be one hundred percent her focus. I think yeah. she'll do one release this year. So number two, Luna is going to pick up Steam in Korea. They're, I don't think they're going to be huge, but I think they're going to be a uh, pretty decent sized group for a career. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm still worried. Maybe something like, I don't know, like Pristine or Goo Goo Down right now, like maybe. that kind of thing. Yeah, Not yeah. like twice. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, yeah. No, there's no way they had twice. And anymore. after the full group debuts, they're going to go like gung ho in Korea because right now they're not really focusing on. Well, because it's pre, um, it's pre debut. For, it's been yeah, pre debut yeah, yeah, for exactly. like two years, so exactly. They're probably not going. Yeah, they're probably not going to go full steam ahead when it comes to promotions until like Luna. Yeah. The the twelve member group debuts, but yeah. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. I still don't know how that group's gonna work. Because I mean, especially with you, if you look at competition, if they're up, if they're anywhere, if they're sniffing anywhere near like the same debut time as the S, the SM Go group, they're dead. They're DOA and oh yeah, hundred percent. They're yeah. dead. Like they got. But they, I just they, it's got just in terms out. of like style and stuff. I still they can't also wasted that group way out. too much weapons money to uh, <laughs> fail. <laughs> They have no, they have money. infinite money. Like, they, 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 it literally doesn't they matter. They sell weapons. They can sell one. <laughs> they can sell one copy of their debut album, and they will still like put billions of dollars into that into their music. They will still pay Digi. They will still like employ Digipetty. Like they'll feed like the animators for the rest uh, of the year, basically just off of Luna. All right. So number three. Well, it's the one common uh, thing that we all have is SM will debut their upcoming girl group using SM rookies or unannounced trainees. So I think they're definitely going to have... They, SM has like hundreds of trainees and oh, yeah, most yeah. of them do not debut. So they definitely have unannounced ones up their sleeve that they could have picked up since the last time mm-hmm. SM rookies was even uh, what showing they? anything new. What well, they show, they, show the, they show the upcoming stuff, like, but they don't... Um, show that much, I guess. <laughs> they just what show random SM videos of them up, training. Picked up Somi. Oh and my no god! No one knew. No, that never happened. <laughs> and then that's a steal of the same. Like, girl group. That's like some backroom, like shady like, <laughs> exactly. dealing. Yeah, sort of JRP like, would never let that. How happen. many like how many like armed guards would like have to like like be like surrounding <laughs> that contract negotiations just so like they wouldn't leak. Uh. Anyways, um, Somi Somi would have leaked it on Instagram anyway. She's she's, she's fifteen six, years old. She's fifteen years yeah. old. She has no self control. She can't. Yeah, exactly. She can't control leak not leaking something like that. Yeah. Anyways, um, as far as that goes, like following the SM pattern or whatever, it's got to be this year. And and they don't have SNSD anymore. Like they do, but they don't. Like to be they honest, don't. they really don't. They don't. So. They mm-hmm. have a niche to fulfill there, so musically, that's definitely what their style is going to be. Uh, Format-wise, I don't know how many members it's going to be. I I don't. 
I can't say that I'd be confident in nine members. I think it'll be like four or five, like Red Velvet as well. I so. don't think I don't think it could be four and five, and they can get away with it again because I feel like it's too. It might be too similar to Red Velvet. I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe maybe seven. Who I'm, knows? No, I'm thinking like ten. I'm thinking they go ten, eleven. Like this might you be like the next. Maybe. Like I, I think it might out. be like EXO style. Oh, like, like a girl yeah. group EXO. That's okay. true. Like I could see that. Yeah, and both NCTs are like seven or eight, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll they're, be bigger. Like when it comes to groups, they're obsessed with huge numbers. So I mean, well, yeah. SM invented that. So yeah, so yeah, uh, and on, the only groups they've done that were small were Shiny FX and, FX and Red, Velvet. Red, Velvet. Red Velvet. And then so. they all right, so they're three for three, I guess. Because mm-hmm. T, well, no, TVXQ is smaller, but that was before they invented yeah, that. Before, like, half yeah, the yeah, that, that was before was <laughs> idol groups were. <laughs> well, no, TVXQ was originally five. Well, but, yeah. But, yeah, and but um, that's yeah. Be back then, it was all small yeah. groups. It was always like yeah, four, yeah. Yeah, three, five. Super Junior, they've had three big groups and three small groups, so... Yeah, so it's, it's we'll definitely, see. like, the... Yo, but no, no joke, if we get a female EXO, I might stand them harder than Ghost Generation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, if we get a female EXO, <laughs> like, that's, that might be my favorite group yeah, of all time. Their their debut song of Dada. <laughs> Can't Dada. Can't <laughs> this... Uh... <laughs> It works so well. <laughs> if it's literally just a girl group doing "Mama," I would, I would, I would, I'd, I'd stay but, up hardcore. But Dada, oh god! But "Mama" means you actually means something in Korean. It's like your Majesty yeah. or something like that. Mama. Anyways, anyways, uh, four. Um, this one's also, I guess, I'll, I'll give it to you that it's kind of obvious. But BTS is going <laughs> to really say collaboration with a well-known American artist. But this time, I think they're definitely going to be played on the radio. Because I think, think it's going to be who do you something think be? like. Well, I think I think they um, already announced. Honestly, what was there was a big group that they that's just been talking about them least. Recently. I don't know, but I can't. Remember I think who it was, I think though. they'll do another song with the Chainsmokers, and but I think it'll be under the Chainsmokers, and it'll hey. be one of their singles. If they could get a cha- if they could get a Chainsmoker song featuring BTS, that'd be huge because everyone yeah, like that's. Like, exactly. That's what I think it's going to be. Along that same vein. Well, <laughs> what? Apparently, Mike Trop was played during the intro for Lakers versus OKC. Hey. Oh, that's cool. Well, I mean, in LA, so. Dude, and I mean, Mike Trop's a yeah, yeah. hot song, so. Not, no surprise. Yeah. They, they play a lot of K pop. So, um. Mm-hmm. Yep. If I were to give a guess, it's sort of tertiarily related to Chain Smokers. I'd see them collaborating with Halsey. Because Halsey's oh, yeah, really popular, and she definitely. She's definitely like a. Like similar vibes sort of thing, and because I, I remember yep. like Billboard Music Awards, she's like, "Oh, I love you guys," and all that sort of thing. So there's definitely connection there. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I think that I think that's definitely a safe bet. Um, For all we know, it could be like I don't know, they'll be <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Some, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, he's always the random Snoop feature. Dogg. It's always girls it's always generation. Snoop. Wait a second, <laughs> Snoop Dogg. <laughs> He just doesn't know. He's too high. He thinks that every every group, K-pop group is the same. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's definitely I think it's definitely possible because like Psy did a song with Ed Sheeran on his album or whatever. So like Ed Sheeran Psy, and BTS would destroy the universe. Not even joking. Yeah, I, Psy feel, I feel like that'd be cool too. A gen- oh, is either Gentleman or Gangnam Style mashup with. Too legit to quit. Oh yeah, MC Hammer. I saw that. MC shit. Hammer. So <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> like, so I can do whatever the hell he wants. Yeah, yeah it was Gangnam that no Style. Low, he's that low, low, yeah, low I was gonna say I couldn't remember if it was Gangnam Style. But for all we know, gentlemen, but. BTS is gonna collaborate with freaking like Florida Georgia Line or something like that. And oh please, BTS <laughs> please collaborate don't. with Dream. Theater, please. Dream Theater. Oh God. <laughs> the prog metal. Hell yeah. BTS Are you kidding? song. No, BTS. I want, Dream, X, I want Dreamcatcher and Dream Theater. It's, it's that's a that's a match made. Well, yeah, right Dream. There. Yeah, exactly. Dream Theater, Dreamcatcher it's, it's is one hundred percent needs to happen. <laughs> yeah. That's the name of the, the the super group. It's theater. That's the next. That's the next audio slave. Dreamcatcher and Dream Theater. <laughs> oh yep. goodness. All right, so the next one is related. Um, I think other artists are going to start to receive like a bigger push in the U.S., or at least they're going to try to. Um, now that BTS is getting so much attention, yeah, they, they, other they companies want, that, want a piece of that pie. Yeah, they definitely do. Mm-hmm. They want to emulate that success as much as possible, so I feel like yep. there's going to be a huge push. Well, even Big Hit's going to do it, too, because they, they said they have a new boy group coming out and that they have a secret formula to making K-pop groups that are popular in the U.S. It's cocaine. It's cocaine, yes, exactly. (laughs) They're just going to give everyone cocaine, and they're going to love the boy group. 
Oh, goodness. Crack. K-pop, it's like crack. <laughs> but yeah, uh, those are my those are my predictions. Um, so yeah. <laughs> we'll see how wrong we are in 2019. Yep. God, that feels like so far away. You're going to be... All of them are going to be... You're going to be Korea by the time. Like, 20, the ones. 2019. They're all going to be absolutely wrong, even the ones that you said of mine that were uh, obvious. <laughs> mm. Yep, 2019 is uh, the year that uh, Blade Runner takes place in, so we'll have flying cars by then. Or maybe oh, we might lose power. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, we have Long D, which I still can't, I hate. <laughs> Digital single all night featuring Kim do Yeon, IOI, and Wiki Miki Bias. This is Song of the Year, and I missed it until now. Day song, song of the Year. We're huh? changing it up. Sorry, no. don't recall. <laughs> No. Song of the year. 